Now on small streams, I like to use the Stalker Legend, one of the lightest fly rods in the world today. It's made using Mitsubishi and Torre graphite, so it's extremely light and extremely crisp. So its bounce back is incredible. So if we're trying to get underneath trees or right next to logs, its accuracy is pinpoint. Very, on the short cast, it's uh, very responsive. But if you want to throw a big long line, even though that's only a three weight, it's got the power through the butt section to be able to do it. You might come across a big fish in a small stream as well. This is also going to be able to steer it around, but give you a lot of enjoyment on the smaller fish you're going to come across. So if you get a chance, have a look at the Stalker Legend. It's a rod you're going to love. I'll do. Oh, they're just not staying attached. It's a rubber leg stimulator. It's, I think it's just about the best fly in the world, uh, apart from Adam Parachute, of course. But in this sort of water, it's brilliant. It floats really well, easy to see. Looks like a lot of different things, and it's getting a few hits, but um, they're just not staying connected. And um, yeah, we will get one in a second, I'm sure, I'm sure. So, uh, we've been fishing for almost an hour and we've had maybe 10 hits that have come up and tried to grab it, but not really connecting so they're a little hesitant and what that can generally mean is they want to eat something like that but it's perhaps a bit too big it's something just um, just upsetting them a little bit at the last moment uh, or they're just really taking it very softly so what we'll do is, is go to a similar sort of pattern in a, in a like a smaller size and they'll generally take a smaller fly much more readily than they will a large one so um, just got to try different things until you come up with something that's working and then just stick with that so we'll get a little um, elk hair caddis a little, a little bit smaller than what we have been using still very visible and uh, hopefully that could do the trick Finally, we've uh, got one to, to stay on, which is terrific. And uh, that's we're swapping to the, the elk hair caddis. I'll just get him in the, uh, the net so we can look after him a bit better. And I tend to use a net with, with all these fish because you can, uh, I, I guess, subdue them much quicker and you're not having to handle them as much and uh, keep them away from all these rocks as well. That lovely little brown, that lovely little elk hair caddis. Oh, and he's... Oh, he's a little bit wriggly there, but perfect. If you, you start catching a few fish, it gets waterlogged. So we need to get uh, that water out. We use a product um, called Shake and Float, and it's a desiccant. So we put that, that fly in there, um, and literally, it's a powder form, that literally absorbs all the water and just makes it float like a cork again. So uh, look after your flies, and uh, your fish will like them too. It's, um, it's just exciting fishing. I mean, that's, I didn't even, oh, you've struck, I didn't even feel him, but um, this small water fishing is just so exciting and you're literally, you're watching your fly like a hawk because you're expecting that to happen, a fish to come up and smash it. And, uh, and they, they literally are tiny in comparison, you know, to the fish you, you can catch elsewhere, like on one of our trips to New Zealand or something. But it, it's just so stimulating, this style of fishing, you know, because you you know there's going to be a fish there and you're putting the cast up and uh, you know to get that take even though you're not hooking up it's still just great fun so uh, it does pay to hang on to a few though.
Yeah, beautiful. Oh, <laughs> yep. great little rainbow there. And we just had a couple of casts, and you were just expecting a fish to be in there. And uh, that rainbow, I mean, it's by standards what we, we can catch, obviously, is a tiny little fish, but they're just so exhilarating. A light little rod, it's like that little glide, it's a little two weight. And it's just an amazing rod to use in, in, in water like this. They're just a fantastic tool for catching fish of this size and double and triple size. A good little rainbow. They're probably rainbows are a little bit less cautious than um, the, the browns. And they're great fun. They're pretty acrobatic too with a lot more jumping than, than perhaps what we'll find with, with the browns as well. So uh, yeah, good little flip. Off we go. Good little fun uh, catching those things, and uh, yeah, we just need his big brother. Oh, <laughs> even the small water like that. I mean, you would normally you would just jump straight past it, but um, on little rivers like this. You never know what they're going to hold. So it's worthwhile having a prospect everywhere with these browns. They're very uh, aggressive little fish. And that change to the, um, the elk here caddis has certainly done the trick. Just aggressive little fish. Spots on the tail for all the rainbows and that big red slash. And uh, they've got plenty of life left in him. So uh, yeah, good fun, good fun. You lose a little bit of confidence when you, uh, like here we've had literally three or four come up and uh, try and get the dry and miss it. So uh, just good to get one that uh, stays attached. Again, just little fish, lovely little rainbows. Perfect. So when you're casting across a couple of different currents, what you've really got to do is, is not let your fly line uh, get picked up by this middle current. So if I'm casting across here, I've got to try and lift as much as I can of this line out of the water, and that'll allow that to drift a little bit be easier and more naturally as well. There we go. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> At least he took it. At least he took it. There we go. Oh, <laughs> we've had, uh, I reckon, without a word of a lie, half a dozen fish that have hit the fly in there and all different fish. So, um, yeah, to actually stay connected to one without chucking a tantrum is good. And they're just, um, they're just lovely little fish and just, just great fun. And I guess that's what really stimulates me on, the, on these, these smaller streams. There's just so much action. I mean, you think of these bigger rivers, you can literally be fishing all day and hardly you know, see any action or hardly get a touch. Whereas here, it is non-stop. And he's good to go, that one there. A beautiful little rainbow. Provide an awful lot of fun. And with all these little streams, like, well, virtually everywhere in the world, I put all the, uh, the fish back. So um, in, in some of these, they're a self-sustaining population. Others need a little bit of a help as well, so um, yeah, there's plenty of places you can buy uh, feed of fish if you need it, but these I like to just put back.